This week, we're gonna talk about failure. I'm gonna give you guys an awesome book recommendation, and I'm gonna share with you guys how to go about achieving even bigger goals for yourself. The motor is turned on, then the lamp. This is one of my favorite Jim Rohn books. It's called Leading an Inspired Life. Now, I wanna read you guys one section out of this book that particularly hit me, because I reread this book recently. Did you ever hear Jim Rohn speak? Can you give me your best Jim Rohn impersonation? <laughs> no. He always says it like that. Yeah. No. That's how he talks. <laughs> what is failure? If success is a steady progress towards your own personal goals, what is failure? Is failure working on a project that ends with poor results? No, of course not. Is failure launching a new product that fails miserably in the marketplace? No, of course not. Is failure doing the best you possibly can with your kids than having them disappoint you in a very personal way? No, of course not. There's no failure in pouring your heart, soul, and energy into something that doesn't work. Rather, failure is not trying at all. If success is the steady progress towards your own personal goals, then failure is no progress at all. Success and failure are always linked together. Success is doing. Failure is not doing. It's that simple. For this year in my company, I set pretty big goals. We've set these goals to push and improve beyond what we did last year. And last year was a push, but we accomplished our goal. We're gonna continue doing all the marketing that we do, but to increase by 33%, which is what we wanna do, we need to get new lead sources. And the lead source that I looked at that we weren't getting a lot of deals from was MLS, so stuff that's online, bank owned properties, short sales, or just properties that are listed, and also uh, properties from the Warm Network. So I've told all my sales reps, guys, we are networking with Warm Network. We are trying to find deals from other people that are in the industry. But in order to get the goal we're gonna set for this year, I went out there and started taking the increased actions that I want all of my people in my company to take. I called up my warm network this week and all, all of the guys that are wholesalers, the people that I know that find properties, I called them up and I told them very simply, I said, look guys, I know you think of me as a wholesaler primarily. I said, that's not me this year. I am gonna be a wholesaler, but I'm also gonna flip a lot of properties. In order to flip more properties, I need more properties. So I said, I am a flip buyer. I just let them know. Any properties you have, I would love to look at any of those properties. And then when I did that, like about 25% of the people I called, they said, well, I've got this one. You want to check this one out? And I analyzed a few different deals, calling people, looking for deals. And lo and behold, I found somebody with the deal. I went and looked at it on a Saturday and we negotiated a price. Boom, locked up the deal. I'm going to buy that deal and we're going to fix it up and flip it. So I was able to take that to my team on Monday when we do our meetings and I would say, hey guys, all that stuff I've been telling you guys to do to hit our 2016 goals, I did it this last week. Here's the proof. I've got a deal for us. And they're like, whoa, how did you get that? And I said, all the things I've been telling you to do. I wanted to show them that it was possible. So that gave them some energy. It gave a little bit of juice in that, in that Monday meeting. Covering varied situations is equally necessary. In I Love Real Estate Stories, we set a goal last year to get 2015 subscribers. Now, we didn't hit that goal. But we didn't fail because we're still pushing towards, we're still putting our heart and soul into I Love Real Estate Stories, and we did the best we could. And we're doing the things that we can do. We got about 850 subscribers last year. Yeah, the only failure is in not doing, and we did do. All last year, we had successes. We put out a video every week, and towards the end of the year, we started pushing and telling people about our goal. So this year, uh, we set a goal for ourselves, because it's always important to have goals, to get 5,000 subscribers. So we'd love for your help with that. You are the target of those who would trample the liberties of- Pardon the interruption, my name is Andy McFarlane, co-owner of I Love Real Estate Stories YouTube channel. We got a goal, we got a quota, we got a meet -up. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe! Let's look at your home. Free videos everywhere. Subscribe today! We're talking inspiration, we're talking motivation, we're talking education! You will know what to do instantly to help. We want to provide more value to more people, and that's the way we do that, is by increasing our YouTube subscribers. For those of you that failed on any of your goals last year, meaning you didn't achieve them, you really didn't fail as long as you were pushing towards something and trying the best you could. A lot of times people are pushing towards their goals and they're going, 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 and then for some reason they get frustrated. They hit this wall and they just give up and they turn around and walk away. What they might not realize is they might have just been right there on the, on the tipping point. They might have been able to, if they just pushed through a little bit more, it might have accomplished those goals. But we turn around sometimes when we're really close to those goals. Don't do that, don't turn around. Keep pushing, keep trying. Don't do that, don't turn around. The only failure is in not doing. When I'm talking to people about goals, and goals are very important, I've told a lot of people this quote that I memorized. It goes like this. I bargained with life for a penny, and life would pay no more. 
However, I begged at evening when I counted my scanty store. For life is a just employer, he gives you what you ask. But once you've set the wages, why you must bear the task. I worked for a menial's hire, only to learn dismayed that any wage I had asked of life, life would have willingly paid. Yeah, I'm trying to channel my Jim Rohn. I so let's say, let's say an apple a day. So can you eat, at the end of 30 days, can you eat 30 apples? No, it's an apple a day.